This is a very special crossover episode, and I just have a question for uh, the two other people. I was going to say guests, but we are also guests on their podcast, so that's unfair. Um, uh, Matt Dugzone, Jillian Dugzone, hello. Um, here's my question for you. <laughs> what what would uh, Nickelback be called if all the members were black? Uh-oh. Um... <laughs> I don't like this bit. I'm not going to speculate. Uh, we'll just... Yeah. <laughs> what have you got for us? Well, you know. Um, so, with that with that opening... Wait, dude. <laughs> wait, there's no... <laughs> We're not going anywhere with it? With that opening, um, you know, some people <laughs> on the call might be a little bit uh, stressed. Some people listening might be a little bit stressed. So, this is just a good moment to... Just stop and check in and be like, you know, are you are you clenching your jaw? Are your shoulders a little bit stressed out right now? Uh, just like, is there an impending slur coming? What's happening here? <laughs> just just take it all in for a second. How long um, is this going to go? <laughs> don't worry about it. The full what, is this a, what is this, a crossover episode? <laughs> hey Oh, he did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow okay oh i'm so glad the gun has made an appearance yeah. well I, I i didn't for my original doug zone appearance i did not bring the gun which because i forgot yeah but we didn't get to see it and i didn't see it when i went on bad boy crimes with you I either, either. Yeah. nick I saw, saw it i saw <laughs> on the floor in a visual gag i gotta say that's one of my favorite visual <laughs> gags you guys have done <laughs> That episode was, I was wilding out. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it was a lot. <laughs> this is a great episode. Skillshare's looking mad because I derailed whatever he was doing. Sorry. Yeah. I was doing a fantastic bit. Yeah. It's a good go, bit. Continue, please. Yeah, please, uh, by all means. We're waiting for you to not actually say something racist. Probably. Please. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> there are a lot of places that uh, what if Nickelback was black could go. Um <laughs> But there's no slur here. The answer is uh, three cents back. Just mm. go, go ahead and think uh, about that one. Yeah, I got it. Ah, yeah. I see. Good one. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay, All Matt, right. go ahead with your intro. Oh, I was just going to say, you know, with the, uh, with the impending Supreme Court case, you know, I was thinking to myself, I usually, I open these episodes with a topical reference. Yeah. Um, and there's no way to make that funny. Um, and... Then, and so I was really getting stressed out. And then yesterday, Bob Dole died. So I'm back in a good mood. Suck shit, you fucking demon. Uh, that's all I had to say. Wow. He was the banana guy, right? <laughs> yeah, he was yeah, of the yeah. Dole Banana Company, also a vice president. He was He's the last of like that. Well, not the last. You know, George Bush is still alive. But that that bygone era of evil conservatives where they like had an ideology, whereas now it's just sort of like whatever will get them trending. Um, you know, was, back when I men was, were men, is that a dull banana? No, they're not. I was hoping they were, but they're just unbranded, uh, kind of honestly, kind of shitty bananas. <laughs> to celebrate the death of Bob Dole, I have yeah. purchased dull bananas and given them. You know them what? Money. I did buy them yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so, peel a banana in memory of Bob Dole. I don't peel bananas. <laughs> Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. But, you don't like, peel you know, bananas? No, I don't peel bananas. I, Wait. I rip them in half. Wait, what the fuck? What? Yeah, what? You rip them in half, and then you squeeze <laughs> it like a push pop. Although these are yeah. kind There's of There's no way this is an actual thing you No, do. I do. That's, That's the most this. insane thing. You have said a lot of insane I'm very things. very worried about the strings on bananas. This is why. Yeah. <laughs> this is a famous There's opinion a string. that Coach has. The strings he hates stay the strings. in the peel. I hate the strings, but if you eat it this way, there's no strings. But don't you like mush the banana? A little bit at the end, but honestly, not really. It comes out pretty easy. <laughs> I don't believe you. No, like, <laughs> listeners of the Doug Zone, including Matt's friend who hates me, I'm giving you some banana tips. 
This she will not be listening to this episode. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think so, but you know, <laughs> I haven't done anything bad. I didn't say anything, any kind of ist. I'm just just some <laughs> banana tips. Squeeze it like a pop, right. and you don't have the strings. Shout yeah, out to we didn't Bob say Bob. anything ist. We might have said a couple things that were phobic on uh, the episode we did, though. <laughs> Couple phobics. A couple phobics. I'm not phobic. I'm not because I'm not afraid, you know, <laughs> of anything. All right. For every, for every equal and opposite phobia, there is a a, a file. Mm-hmm. A file. So mm. hang on. I don't get this one. I'm, yeah, I'm, all- I'm working back. Have, if you have any phobia, somebody else. Will oh, oh. Have- Philia. Okay, I, I was thinking like computer file, so I was very yeah, confused. PH, PH file. Okay. Are there, no, are there, are there pedophobic people? <laughs> I'm afraid of children. Yeah. yeah I think me. I might be one. I'm afraid of children. I am Ooh. also. I mean, but you're, I like children like well enough. I get along with them. I feel a kinship with seven year olds, you know, when they like bring me their little toy trains and like, <laughs> hell, hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. <laughs> like, rock on, dude. Children, children are always like, they it's always like they've had their, their hand in like a, a jar of jelly. Like they're always just uncomfortably sticky. Yeah, they are gross. I don't like making contact with them. But oh, well, I mean, no, you don't want to. You don't want to touch a child in any sense. Yeah, of <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, very true. Let the record you know, show. None of us here like touching children with a child. I don't, like, because I live in a neighborhood with a bunch of Indian people, and they all hate me for some reason. Uh, Hmm. Famous likable person, coach. <laughs> <laughs> I am likable. Okay, but uh, you were really rattled by that one. <laughs> well, I felt like that was coming not from a place of love, and not from, <laughs> and not from a neutral place, but somewhere else. A place of malice, <laughs> perhaps. So, yes, um, yeah, maybe a place yeah. of Doug. But the other day, like a little kid was with her family and she she threw me a little wave and i was like wow this is the nicest thing anybody's done to me in, oh yeah no in, that in was a while just a little wave and i, I love that like, when i'm cashiering oh, yeah, you know a little kid waves at me i'm like rock on dude yeah sometimes yeah. at work little kids don't just throw up in the revolving door and i <laughs> clean it sometimes they look at me and they're like wow you have mermaid hair and then i feel a little special <laughs> I saw, and then they oh, throw up in the revolving door yeah and then they eat an entire cookie and then run around <laughs> in the revolving door until they puke and i have to clean it up Oh, I saw like a mermaid something in the frozen section. It was like a whole blue, like a bluish green food that should not have been that. I don't remember. Is it an ego waffle? By any it might have been. Yeah. Yeah. That. Mm. Um, no, don't like that. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that either. Still, sorry. What do you food. think about um, mermaid brand things? Um, I think that Are you a mermaid. It's, uh, I'm not a mermaid, and I think that it's um, actually an affront to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to to combine animals in such a fashion. Well, man See. isn't an animal, so your move. <clears throat> how great's God, mermaid. though, guys? Yeah how how awesome is God? Yeah, mermaids God. are women, Coach. Mermaids are women who are animals. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. I didn't say that. I'm being good. I'm being on my best behavior. I haven't done anything bad. I've been off putting, but I haven't been bad. Oh, the last yeah, it hasn't even been 10 okay. minutes. What's the well, last unhinged thing you did? Go ahead. Share with the glass. Last unhinged thing. Um, other than pull out a gun. Yeah, other than uh, this <laughs> podcast, um, I don't know. I haven't really done a whole lot. I mean, right now, this isn't really unhinged as more as it is autistic. But I have the login queue for Final Fantasy fourteen going on in the background. So um, fair enough. Yeah. Okay. So that's I wouldn't say unhinged, but you know, it's weird. Um, no, I haven't really prepared done anything that unhinged. Any eventuality. Yeah, I'm prepared to jump off this call if I get it. And I'm like 3,000 something in the queue. So it's probably not going to happen. But I'm. All right, so we'll... <laughs> oh, is this the thing you were messaging earlier about how like you keep getting jumped back in the queue? Is this the yeah, same thing? That's the same thing. It now, that sounds I, like I, a bummer. Well, you know, after a hard day at work of uh, hanging out in the Discord. And playing Pokemon Unite on my phone, I really would like to unwind with more video games. 
uh, and I'm stuck with you assholes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's my favorite thing about my call center jobs. I'm like, I'm home from my, my job of staring at a computer screen for seven to eight hours a day. Time so to you know, stare at the good computer screen instead. Yeah. <laughs> Have you considered uh, getting a job at a box factory instead? Uh, I actually did. Uh, there are no box factories nearby. There's a potato processing plant because I live in the most cool. Idaho city in Idaho. That'd be pretty. That'd be pretty cool. How do we feel about so potatoes, guys? guys? How do we feel? I'm a big potato, potato head. I'm a fan I of ate potatoes. Mashed potatoes earlier today. Hell yeah! I had mashed potatoes on Thanksgiving. They were very good. I made mashed potatoes like three hours ago. And it was pretty solid. Potatoes are good, but also they're a fake vegetable, and I don't respect them. I'm not a big potato guy. I don't like them too much. Counterpoint, though. Potatoes did kill a lot of Irish people, and for that, I do respect them. Ooh, Actually, true. no potatoes killed a lot of Irish people. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. Good point. Black potatoes killed Irish people. Ugh. That's why there's a lot of potatoes in my diet. If only I was Irish, <laughs> folks. If only you were Irish. Yeah. Alas, so you're the other group of white wants people to be that... dead. You think you think Ariana's gonna go Irish next? No, no, no because no because there's no there's no white. what what in what forecast do we envision here where Irish is the like cranberries Irish. are gonna get really big again? She no. could just like go red hair, just bright red. She did. She, she did, did that, that before. Yeah, yeah. She's still being I, like Italian. Yeah, hang on, I'll send it to Italian. the group. But <laughs> yeah, quote unquote Italian. Well, so many people I think, think you she's know, Mexican or did think she was Mexican. Now people might be yeah. thinking. I wonder why if you. Eliana Glendale. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> that was her doing. That wasn't me. I yeah. don't know it was. I don't think she did the voice, to be honest. I, I have sent I, the picture of red haired Ariana to our group. Well, according to Nick, I'm allowed to do the voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Irish red. That's the problem. Yeah, also, that's true. No, that is no a... Hungarian woman looks like that. <laughs> that is clearly very Eastern Asian, you know, Japanese, Korean kind yeah. of vibe exclusively. Yeah, it's it's pretty rough. Everybody look up pictures of Ariana Grande through the years. It's an interesting evolution. I just I do wonder what's next though. Like she can't do just actual black, like not uh, what if brown she face. What if yeah. she just what like she literally she black? Out, like, <laughs> Rachel Dolezal walked so Ariana Grande could run. Exactly. I wonder if people would let her get away with it. Maybe I, she's the non-binary of transracial. Ooh. Uh, okay. I, just, I think if anything, that's I think me. Fluid, she's right? racial fluid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. My ethnic background is they them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, because because she's many races, exactly. and yet she is not. Yeah, yeah it's true. Yeah. You are now accusing and, her of doing black. And things. truthfully, at the core of it, she is a woman. So, so true. Oh wait, hope, oh, wait, hang she, on. No, I didn't go sign that. <laughs> I hope she pulls a Demi Lovato. That's so true. I didn't say it. <laughs> Nobody has said it. Yeah. The Doug Zone. We will never say it. That's the only guarantee we can make, honestly. You won't say you it. You won't say Rittenhouse. Yeah. Yeah, the, the R word. I would never say that one. All the other ones are on the table. I don't know. I think, you know what? Let's all, what, 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 let's, let's all talk about the R word. All right, I'm so glad we brought. Which one are we talking about? I'm not sure which one I want to talk about less. <laughs> yeah, the R word, Roe v. Wade. Mm. Ooh, wow, mm. that one's, that's a conversation as well, isn't it? I figured out. So, I figured out that you know those gummy fetuses that like pro life people hand you. Like they're not gummy. No. But they're like the rubber. yeah. I was gonna say, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, even if. Rubber- <laughs> have you never been handed rubber no. fetuses by pro-life people? Like no, you? I've never I've been, been to an abortion day. clinic, so I, I never don't have either. I was just given one by my Catholic cousins. Yeah, I also just oh, I didn't they, grow up in paper. Texas. I've been given an image of a fetus. Yeah, I've been given images before. I've never been given like a a marketable plushie. 
Let me find it. Yeah, if it was okay. like a gummy one that you could eat, that would be kind of cool. No, that would rock, but that's like, something that like an edgy, like an edge lord at like the temple of Satan would make it though. Where it's like, like, yeah, we eat babies, kind of thing, you know. Yeah, like, that would suck. But if it was like a red, blue, so um, is, sour gummy worm, you. that'd be delicious. Oh, All right, hang on, let's take a look and at they're that. Like they're like rubber. Oh, I don't like that at all. Yeah, it's bad, right? Yeah, that upsets like me. This looks like a pencil eraser. <laughs> it looks like a something you would like um, compete for immunity and survivor. This yeah. is the totem. <laughs> no, it, no, it, it legit looks kind of like one of them. Um, yeah, the tribe has yeah, spoken. Yeah. Um, looks like a, a totem from Inception. No. Oh, yeah. You see if you're dreaming based on whether or not you can terminate a pregnancy within a certain allotted time. You have yeah. six weeks to terminate this pregnancy. Well, <laughs> but, you know, if you go down a layer in the dream, you've actually been pregnant for 18 months. Yeah. <laughs> uh. What happens if you're pregnant and you do Inception? Do you um, do you give birth to the baby in your dream and then it like? I mean, you well, probably could if you down. wanted to. I mean, you can yeah, do whatever exactly. you want. If you go down to limbo, mm. you do anything. Yeah, well, limbo's its own deal. But I'm just saying, like, what happens to the baby when you wake up? Like, does it just get like well, sucked a, back inside the womb? Or I mean, it's yeah, a dream it's baby, so it doesn't it doesn't yeah, matter. Mm. It's, it's not interesting. Real. Hmm. Yeah, it happens. Um, it's the same as like any other dream you would have where you give birth, Matt. Oh, okay. Well, now that I have that frame of reference. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm glad that we've talked about Inception. You know, nothing but topical discussions today. It's a great movie. Um, it is a good movie. Oh, just got kicked from I the wanna, queue. Should I, should I show it to Jay? <laughs> should I show Inception to Jay just to piss her off? I think, I think Jay might enjoy Inception. She hated um, Memento. Oh, I forgot about that. But I don't know. Inception has more, like, just visually going on. So even if she's, like, not following the plot at all, she could watch the stuff, you know? And it's it's emotional, kind of. Kind of. It's got Elliot Page. Okay, well, that might be in trouble. Well, I guess Inception's linear. There's just several lines. Yeah, Yeah, that's the problem. Mm, like, okay. but it's not it's not confusing like after the first 20 minutes the movie goes this is what's happening and then you're kind of set for the rest of it it's more like the first hour of the movie is this is what's happening well i mean i, I figured it out in the fir- in the like demo like tutorial level you know what I mean? like i figured <laughs> no, it out I- and then they explain it for like an hour after that in case you didn't catch it and then it's the movie which kind of sucks but but it works it works well enough me, so you know it's fine yeah. <laughs> Famously likable. I want to show her code, Pulp yeah. Fiction just to see her. Ooh, I would love to see her reaction to Pulp Fiction. Yeah. There's no way she'd like it. Well, it's interesting because I feel like, to a point, I would walk away from it agreeing with Jay, which is to say, I think Jay's take will be this is not as good as everybody says it is. This is um, not as good as Zootopia. <laughs> this is not as no, good as Zootopia. Be way worse than Zootopia. Um. You should make her yeah, watch no. the Confederate States of America. I'm sure that was that be. a movie. Oh, it's it's a it's a mockumentary of like what if the Confederacy won the Civil War? Oh, that sounds charming. Um, <laughs> it's I had to watch it in high school. Um, <laughs> it's great. It has some um, real commercials um, interspersed with uh, fake commercials that are all deliberately very racist. Um, I gotta say, it's a little weird that the cover is the White House flying a Confederate flag because the Confederacy had its own capital. Well, but apparent in in this alternate universe, they they take the White House. Um, Very strange. It's definitely Wait, I think worth. I was also forced to watch this. Hold on. It's it's something. In, like, I definitely got grade. some laughs from it in it for the wrong reasons. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, this is fascinating. I'm looking at this thing. I, think I feel like all agree. You would get a kick would out of it. So that. much worse if the Confederacy. If the Confederacy won. One. Yeah, I think if the Confederacy won, like cartoons. Well, we'd still would have be Song awful. of the South. So yeah, I was gonna say. I think we can agree that most things would be worse if the Confederacy won. That's Splash um, Mountain. I, Splash I, Mountain. Yeah, we still would have Splash Mountain. So who can say if it would be a bad thing? <laughs> it's my favorite ride. I love the animatronics. Yeah, you get a democratic majority all the time. Um, 
I can't have a rubber True. fetus and Confederate States of America along with Ariana Grande Asian fishing as the three tabs on <laughs> my computer. Um, and yet, here we are. <laughs> That's called environmental storytelling. So when you die, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> out and um, wh- whoever survives, let's say it's your roommate who survives, uh, and Fallout's happening like uh, tomorrow. Um and she'll go through your room looking for bottle caps or whatever, and then it'd be like, oh, what's this computer log? Yeah, I've actually, I don't remember if I've said this on mic or not, but I do want, I want the vibe of the Doug Zone to be that we're part of an environmental storytelling thing. You know, like when the world is destroyed, I want the only thing to survive to be just like a hard drive with the Doug Zone on it. And then someone can plug it in and try to recreate human culture based around that. They create like one nine eleven memorial, but it's one you went to, not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I don't know what this thing was, but it was clearly very important. I feel like there's a uh, food lion, and that's the only grocery store. Oh, I don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> food lion. I've never been to one. Ever. Yeah, I haven't either. I'm definitely not going back to one soon. <laughs> It's, I mean, I've never been, but it's a great grocery store if you're poor. If, yeah. If I were yep. to take a wild stab in the dark, uh, even though I've never been. Um, I feel yeah, like Battle of Crimes affordable. is kind of like, it's like audio logs for like the main villain and like why you understand how he got from point A to point B, you know? Oh, yeah. Like you, yeah. like you're yeah. discovering yeah. snippets yeah. of his experiments. Yeah. And then, and then I'm at the end and I'm just like... <laughs> Wow, in many ways, I'm Kendall Roy from Succession. <laughs> yeah, you, you die a squid or you live long enough to see yourself become the coach. Um, That's really true, man. <laughs> a little rough. I'm doing fine. I wonder what will happen to me. Like, in general? If or in, I in... die a squid. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm very curious if this is an environmental storytelling thing. Does squid stay the, the hero of the story? Or does he? Well, I think. I mean, I think Bad Boy Crimes is too nuanced to have just a, a clear hero. I mean, there's yeah. a clear villain. It's me, but not a clear hero. <laughs> well, I was gonna say maybe, I maybe Bad Boy Crimes been, is. You've gotten less villainous over the years. I think Bad Boy Crimes is the grim dark <laughs> the, of the podcasting genre. Too. You know, there, there's no heroes. Over yeah. the year, you have become less villainous. Yeah, you well, have. You've definitely chilled out a little bit. <laughs> I was, you know, last year. What was he? Bad. See what happens in season three. Yeah, yeah they no, call it the calm before the storm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we were talking about season three on like Instagram or something. You get some, like, yeah, we were actually. <laughs> I like I, the I, idea that uh, you guys came up with season one and they got like studio notes that coach is like unsympathetic and needs to tone it down a little bit. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> we, we did get those. I did get those notes secondhand. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I did tone it down, hand. and well, from, ma- from many sources, but like one in particular really bugged me. Um, and I don't my friend. We now. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, I feel like I'm. Uh, I go through periods where I'm like really manic, and you can you can tell on the podcast, and then it, it sort of evens out, and then it tanks, and then I'm right now. I'm in kind of that lower end of things. Is there a word for I'm that? <laughs> No. Uh, <laughs> for episodes of mania and depression, no, I don't think there's anything okay, that yeah. would describe that. Nothing I can think of. <laughs> well, I think there I'm should be. Get back into the Joker arc. As well, you should. I never left. I think you left, Matt. I'm a, I'm a calm Matt. Joker. <laughs> That's a calm, calculating Joker. Fa- yeah, exactly. Fa- Your traits of yeah, the calm <laughs> and reserved Joker. <laughs> All right, let's. We broached it. What Batman villains are we? Jillian is the Joker. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know enough Batman villains. My heart. Me neither. I, I, I shouldn't I have started I'm, this bit. I think I'm the Riddler. Matt Scarecrow. No, oh, is it just because of my build, or was there anything else to it? I just thought it was funny to say. It is funny to say. I'd love to be played by Killian Murphy in a Christopher He's Nolan great. movie. Hey. I'm him in, in uh, Peaky He's Blinders. the only good part of The Dark Knight I, Rises. I think Coach might be Two-Face. Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. But, but, like, which version? Sometimes he's the villain. Sometimes he's the hero. We can never tell who he will be. 
Who's the real yeah. coach? That's the question. That's the question haunting all of the <laughs> listeners of the Ducks. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Hello, uh, listeners of the Doug Zone. Hello, listeners of Bad Boy Crimes. All two of you who are not there's in the circle of business Venn diagram. There's, there's more than two. No, yeah, there's, there's more two. Bad Boy Crimes <laughs> listeners who don't sure. listen to the Doug's. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. come on over to Zoom or come down. Bad Boy I've, Crimes listeners. That's right. I've told them. I've told them. Yeah, you have shouted us out. No, but I've also right, communicated to the two people oh. <laughs> who don't listen to Doug Zone. I was like, Please listen to the Doug Zone and listen to my good <laughs> friends Matt Doug Zone and Jillian Doug Zone. And they're like, my fa- maybe famously our last names. I was a big fan of Matt Doug Zoni making it sound Italian. That that got a chuckle out of me. I like that one a lot. That's powerful. Uh, I shouldn't do the hand gesture without uh, doing the voice. Do you think Ariana's going to start doing the hand gesture? Oh, <laughs> what if she looks back around to being like cartoonishly Italian? And it's like, yeah, that honestly, I'd be there for that. I wish she was cast as the voice of Mario in the new movie. <laughs> <laughs> she should She should be. I think it should have been like should, Michael Gandolfini. I sh- <laughs> no, he should be Luigi. She's Japanese sounds- and Italian. It works perfect. It <laughs> <laughs> so, gets divorced. I feel like my racial ambiguity and her racial ambiguity could really sync up. Yeah. Wait, is Ariana Grande married? Yeah, or engaged or something. I I can't believe she didn't tell me about it. I found out about it on Twitter. Uh, I thought her and I had something special. Oh, I'm just going to type in fiance, see what comes up. Dalton Gomez. Let's take a look at this guy. Wow. Dalton. (laughs) She's uh, really batting below her average here. I think she could do a lot better, personally. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. This Does really is just Mario? some guy. I'm some oh, yeah, guy. He's just some dude. What's, what's his deal? What does he do? Well, it's even funnier because when you search Ariana Grande fiance, like the first four pictures are, are this dude, and then everything else is just Pete Davidson. Um, Pete which, Davidson also kind of just some guy. Yeah, I do not like Pete Davidson. I don't think I don't he's either. attractive. Um, even by like sickly pale man standards, there's a little bit too much of that going on, in my opinion. But every famous woman ever disagrees with me, so I don't know. My my reading might be off. Listen, something about being female just makes you attracted to men who look like they eat cigarettes for breakfast. No, look, here's around. the thing. As a man who looks like he eats cigarettes for breakfast, I understand that appeal. In your favor. Yeah, exactly. It's working in my favor. I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying I, well, much like how I don't understand how people are attracted to me. I'm like, I don't get it, but whatever. We'll, we'll roll with this if we have to. Yeah, if we have to. Yeah. I think that it's uh, white supremacy. Okay, that's my, well. <laughs> that's, that's my feeling on Pete okay. Davidson. Hmm. Well, Maybe it's just still like sympathy pussy for his dad dying twenty years ago in nine eleven. Well, it makes. I've been milking that for years. I gotta he, say, he is kind of a poor little meow meow. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. What the fuck did you just say? I know a poor, exactly a poor little what meow meow. <laughs> what, yeah. what is that? You know, it's like, um, well, like you know how in many ways I'm a bunch of people in shows and stuff and movies, all those Very characters true, yeah. are kind of poor little meow meows. And I also have that energy. Um, they're all like kind of pathetic losers. Um, they're, they're kind of brooding a little bit, you know, um, so like angsty. Pitiful. Yeah. Kind, kind of amoral, you know, they have a lot of problems. Okay. Many of them are their own fault. Um, I, I'm seeing know. it now. Yeah. Much. Like, yes. Also know. Ariana Grande is married. So that's like yeah. the BPD men. Yes, like but kind, kind of but like the opposite. Yeah, yeah. but, but also opposite. Pete. Like it's the you know okay. it's like the 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 you know knitted king to the knitted queen. You know they're different, right? But sure. they're but they're the yeah same. yeah definitely they're opposites. But they're the same. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know Pokemon. <laughs> Coach, I have defaulted to like what I would do when insane people at the grocery store would start telling me things, which is I just kind of like nod and let you run out of steam. 
<laughs> People should be saying this. Yeah. But uh, saying yeah, what? I think it's white supremacy. I don't know. I was just okay. that's what I that's what I say to placate people that I uh, wish weren't <laughs> talking to me. You just <laughs> accuse them of white supremacy. <laughs> no, I accuse Pete David of white supremacy. Um, okay, it's not, he's not being a white supremacist, but um, but he's complicit like, in the crimes. What if, if you're you're, white, you're wearing clothing from Supreme? What's that called? Yeah, mm. that is Ooh. called. Um, it's just called shitty fashion, personally. Um, yep. It's actually sick. Where's the brain? Yeah, let me not alienate all of the Kid Squid Beats followers right now. Um, yeah. How do you do, uh, fellow kids? I love Playboy Cardi. <laughs> the Squid Kid, folks. <laughs> the squid kid. My brother, he. So my brother's um, a teacher. And he had his students write a paper. Oh, an older brother. About, like, yeah. Um, about... Don't be ageist. I, just, I don't know why. I was just like, oh, yeah, obviously your younger brother. I don't know why I assumed that. And I was like, what's a child doing teaching other children? That's not right. <laughs> Hang on now. Yeah, I was like, the bat's not hanging up. <laughs> oh, God. But he came, but he told them to write a paper based on like a pop culture figure. Mm-hmm. He was like, he texted me and he's like, Jillian, there's just no way Pop Smoke's a real person. <laughs> and that's just one of the best texts I've ever received. Is there's and just no way. I'm a Pop Smoke truther, personally. Um, Not real. I don't believe in him. I think uh, he was real and then Drake killed him. So Yeah, I was going to yeah, say, I Pop believe... Smoke died, didn't he? Yeah, he died. Okay. Uh, I believe God's real. So true. Yeah. How Ask great is God? Let's say it again. Um, folks. How great's Doug? No, oh, Doug's great. I love Doug. Doug great. But you know some Dugs that we don't think are great. Oh, boy, do I have Ooh. a bad Doug. <laughs> we've, got, we've all got some bad Dugs for you guys, folks. It's Doug Boy Crimes. Um, we may run out of steam. Who's to say? Who's to say? Mine is quick, say, but I will uh, save it for later. Mine is. I will quick. say that I I have lost my tab. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you, you, do you want his initial? I can. It's in. It's in no. our little our little secret chat. Uh, yeah. Coach, no, I, we'll, I guess you can start for us then. Yeah, while while Squid okay. recovers. <laughs> so. Um, this is about um, Doug Clark. Ah, uh, so the nightmare scenario happened, Coach. It, before it, you, it before you join the call, I said I was worried that someone else just picked up the first thing that happens when you Google <laughs> Doug Crimes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I also Googled Doug Crimes, and I was like, "Well, Coach is going to take this one. I'll find another one." It's okay. I have another one. So carry on, coach. All right. So hold on. I was kicked out of the queue again. I need to jump back <laughs> into it. Be, I'm on the moon in the game. It's very exciting. You see. Ooh. Oh, this game has sexual themes in it. Not that I've seen. Um. Yeah. Play sorry. all 200 hours of it, rock hard, just waiting for the sexual themes to arrive. Uh, buddy, you're telling me. <laughs> is that not how you're supposed to play every video game? I sure hope it is, because that's what all I've been all, doing. All, all the ones I play. For how, shout yeah. out to Japan. Yeah. Wii Sports Resort. Whew. Um, yeah, get real torqued when you... Uh, what do you do in that game? Is there a sword game in there, right? Oh, yeah, there's a sword game. Yeah. Damn, you gotta, actually. You got a couple things swinging in that game. <laughs> oh, well, so did, Doug, so did Doug Clark, and maybe not in the, the best way. Um, so I'm going to skip his early life stuff, mostly because I don't care. The only thing that's important there is that he met um, Carol M. Bundy, which is a kind of a sus last name, if you ask me. Well, if you want to talk about suspicious things in his early life, he's the son of a, an, an intelligence officer, which uh, yeah, if you're uh, yeah. Dave McGowan pilled, such as I am, that's, you know... I emoji material right there. We'll, we'll, we'll carry on. But I'm a real patriot, so uh, that didn't <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> famous, famous patriot coach. So uh, Clark, sorry, Doug and his girl. Um, you know, 
how great are sex workers? I've always said sex work is real work, and I've always espoused the virtues of sex work on our podcast, Bad Boy Crimes. I think everyone in the room can say that's true. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, wow. I, I'm not absolutely. gaslighting anybody. And, we, have um, all, we have all famously agreed that sex work is real work. It's real yeah, work. And, and that's why I think it's bad. such. <laughs> Let me tell you, I was a big fan of whenever people were getting audited by the IRS. <laughs> I thought that was very funny. Famous um, Patriot coach. Famous Patriot coach. Yeah. So um, Doug and his sweetie were like bringing sex workers back to their apartment to like have threesomes, you know, just spicing up the bedroom, you know, having some fun. And then our friend Doug. That's the way to do it. Yeah, they spiced wrong. those up a little too much. Yeah, he was he kind of spiced it up a little too close to the sun. He's like, you know, <laughs> threesomes are great, but what if the third was a child? So, <laughs> so um, Doug took an interest in an, his eleven year old neighbor, and uh, the sweetie uh, lured the girl. I hate I hate actual true crime shit because it's always like it's a couple and the girls like tricking other girls into getting raped and shit. I fucking hate that. So just that. say Ghislaine Maxwell. Um, Folks. But, you know, other people Guilty. would say that there's a pattern of behavior that suggests intelligence ties, but I would not. I would. Reprogrammed to kill by David McGowan. Um, I'm a real patriot. I don't believe in that. Um, I'm very patriotic, just not for America. <laughs> For who? China? Russia? Yeah, how great is North Korea, everybody? Well, I mean, Ariana Grande. Grande. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she looked like, yeah, she looks North Korean as fuck. Um, so he's like, let's let's bring over this little girl for some pornographic photography. And then later he was like, what if um, we, we fuck her? And then he was like, what if then uh, we kill her mid-bang? So I can like feel feel it as she dies. Um, it and, seems right. and the sweetie was like, sure, let's go for it. <laughs> Which is fucked as shit. Um, uh, I mean, that's just being like a good sub, right? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had to think oh. about that for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so then, um, our friend Doug told a sweetie about a couple teens who he had murdered, you know, just something you do. You're telling you, Oh, Hey, how was work? Oh, great. By the way, I killed two teenagers. Um, and before he killed them, he ordered them to, um, blow him and then he shot them both in the head and then he'd rape their dead bodies. So that's, this guy's a real winner. Um, <clears throat> dumped the bodies near the Ventura freeway. Um, where they were found the next day, and then the sweetie was like, "Uh, we gotta do something. Like, what the fuck, you know?" So she's like, "I'm gonna call the police. I'm gonna like say I kind of know something, but I'm not gonna like give any hard clues, you know, make them work for it a little bit." Um, real zodiac move. Yeah, and then Doug, a very noble man, was like, "Look, if." We're caught. I'm going to take all of the blame. Pay attention to that because it comes up later. <laughs> Thanks for telling me that because I hadn't fully read the article. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll I'll hit you with that because I think you will genuinely enjoy the move that Doug makes later. Um, <laughs> Masterful. I was reading it. And I was like, Doug. <laughs> yeah, I read it and I was like, "This will speak to Coach." I can feel it already. Um, I don't like that you're saying that this guy will speak to me in any way at all. <laughs> he's not a poor little meow meow. He's just a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> is this episode going to be called "Poor Little Meow Meows"? <laughs> you bitches be like, "I'm a poor little meow meow," but are actually terrible people, <laughs> as the meme goes. <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Several women will co-sign that. Anyway. You either die die a poor little meow meow or see yourself live long enough to become a terrible person. Yeah. I I tweeted sussy baka instead of terrible person, but yeah, I made that joke earlier. Nobody liked it. Uh, But it was... No one understands the thesis of the poor little meow meow. No, you have to know what a poor little meow meow is. It's very intuitive. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think it is. Don Draper, clearly it. a poor little meow meow. Clearly, True. It's just a, any show where it's just a guy and he's just sad, and that's like that's it. 
The Senate right. has the poor little meow meow. It's obvious. Anyway, so 12 days after he kills those two teens, um, Doug was like, I'm jonesing for some more killing. So he kills two sex workers, which is a shame because as previously stated, uh, we lost, you know, real work. We lost two valuable members of the workforce. Um, I'm not going to name them, you know, f- to save time. Wouldn't uh, want to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this is real work. Let the record show. Wait, um, is little meow meow a cape, like a, like a K-pop thing? No. Like I mean, if it is, I don't, I'm not, a, I'm not aware of it. I think it is. Well, okay. That's not how I, I came anyway. into the term. Truth is coming out. Look, no one in twice is a poor little meow meow by definition, so I can't say. True. And that's my only knowledge of K pop. Poor little Momo. Dude, how great's Momo? <laughs> I saw a before and after picture of her today, and I was like, yikes. Um, <laughs> and Jesus and after Christ. What? Just, you know. Well, but back before when she was Italian, and now she's Korean. So. <laughs> the thing that happens. Well, actually, Momo's yeah. Japanese. So is she? Yeah, she's Jap. There's but three people in twice are. Ja- yeah, three people in twice are Japanese. One's from Ooh. Taiwan, and then see. The I feel like I would have known this if I ever looked at a single picture of the members of Twice when you sent it. But my eyes just kind of glaze over when you talk- start talking about Twice They're in the good. chat. You, if you like Carly Rae Jepsen, you would love their new album. I did listen to. There was one song that Ethan specifically recommended I listen to, and I did. Um, you trust Ethan. What I trust Ethan. Ethan. I trust I'm Ethan's so musical instincts, but he, he well he co-signed that I it's good him anyway. Anyway, it's fine. Shout out to Ethan. <laughs> Shout out to Ethan. Um, so yeah, he killed the two sex workers, um, and then dumped their bodies in plain sight. This time he didn't even fucking bury them. He just dumped them on the side of the road. Uh, but he removed one of them, one of their heads. And so he took that, put it in the fridge, as one does with a decap- decapitated sex worker head and then the sweetie was like hmm what if let's make it look nice so she put a little makeup on it you know because i guess her makeup at the time of beheading wasn't up to par and then later uh our friend doug used it again for quoting wikipedia here another bout of necrophilia which the fun is, thing about knowing this story is I can hear Coach start a sentence without knowing where it goes and then watch him in real time start to sweat as he realizes what he started reading. No, I actually I have actually read that before. Okay. I didn't okay. I, I, I got to that and I was like, I've had enough. I just I couldn't I couldn't hang. Um so then they cleaned the head two days later um in a box, dumped that in an alleyway. Three days after that. There's another victim um, that was apparently killed before everybody else was. So that there's how many victims are we up to? Like six, five or six? Uh, I think five at this point. Okay. Well, folks, if you're keeping track at home, don't listen to me or do uh, whatever. <laughs> it's your life. Um, so then um, I guess the sweetie was just like, I'm going to go to a, a country music thing. <laughs> Um, and uh, with the the musical artist was Jack Murray 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 Murray, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about and, another uh, victim, Murray? <laughs> yeah, and apparently this guy was apparently her. Apparently he was apparently good job, coach. Um, former apartment <laughs> manager was, and apparently. lover. So a little intrigue there. Um. Apparently after a performance, they had a little chatty poo and drunkenly talked about all the stuff her and Doug were up to. Not Doug Walker, just to reiterate, this is a different Doug. <laughs> what the record shows, it's a separate Doug. This is the one time on the Doug Zone where we, uh, where we, I say we, y'all, all of us, but y'all, not Skillshy. Not the, me. The, the Doug Zone hosts talk about a Doug that isn't uh, Doug Walker. Yeah, uh, I think this a- is our AKA first non-video the nostalgia Doug Zone AKA that guy with the glasses we talked about uh, the, the Mormon Doug Walker. Yes. We have oh, talked true, about true. the Mormon Doug Walker. That we is true. About other Doug Walkers, not other Dougs. We haven't ever talked about Do Doug think- zone. I don't think we have, but he has a LinkedIn page. I'm a big fan of him. Do we think that uh, Doug Clark has like a letterbox or something? I'd love to have his opinion on movies. <laughs> Many are wondering Doug Clark's thoughts on, 
uh, feminism. feminism. <laughs> I'd love to hear what he thinks about Pokemon, the first movie. Um, <laughs> He's still alive. We can write him a letter and ask him. Get him on. Got to get him on Bad Boy Crimes. Do do the no the second swap cast we do. We're gonna have a fifth mic. <laughs> Straight from prison. Um, no, I I don't actually. No, that would be a bad idea. Anyway, so the that the country guy was like, um, well, it would be interesting. Um, but the the country guy, he was like, um, yeah, I'm concerned that you're killing and raping people and then raping them after you kill them. Uh, you know, it's a valid thing to be concerned about. I think. Yeah, decapitating, putting the makeup on a dead head—that's fucked up. That's just fucking strange. Um, <laughs> Let so me like, be the first to say it. Serial serial murder is a little weird, guys. So then uh, the sweetie was like, "Hmm, okay. How about we have sex in my van?" Country artist uh, Jack Murray. And then uh, once inside, she shot and decapitated him. So she's she's in on the the head cutting as well. It's not just Doug. It's, yeah, no, she's she's down for it. She's a down ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she really is. She really Real is. Marie I mean, Antoinette. I don't know what that means. I'm not really up on cutting off the heads. Yeah, she. Oh, uh, Marie yeah, Antoinette was. I thought Marie herself. Antoinette was. I thought Marie Antoinette was a down ass bitch. I was like, I don't remember reading <laughs> she that. Is a down-ass I mean, she was. She but... died with the king. Oh, cool. All right, well, sick. I'm just an idiot then. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't say uh, that. So the sweetie is not as good at killing as Doug, and she left many clues behind, um, which you shouldn't do if you're going to kill somebody. And then um, she eventually uh, cracked to her coworkers and claimed she killed country music guy. Um they then called the police and she gave a full confession to Doug's crimes. Uh Oh, and then uh, later Doug murdered an unidentified youth, which has their own Wikipedia page, which is concerning. Um, a little bit identified. Yeah. Uh, oh, and... it leads you to the list of unidentified murder victims in the United States. Oh, great. Thanks. <laughs> I clicked on it. Wikipedia article. Yeah, it doesn't look like this will be a fun read. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe somebody can make a podcast out of that. I'm sure that depends who you before. are. Doug Clark might find it a fun read. Yeah, he's like, hey, uh, I would like to me. know. There are no entries for the state of Virginia. Um, Shout out Virginia! What a great and Commonwealth. Five for the frankly. state of Texas. So well, take from Texas this what is a you big will. State. So five is not that bad. Virginia's been around longer. Hmm? The yeah, oldest but state in the union. Not quite. No, um, it isn't. The oldest settlement in America is there. Well, the oldest white people settlement in America is there. Um, the only one that matters. <laughs> oh, God. I didn't Jesus say anything. Christ. I'm going to boost that. <laughs> Uh-oh. I didn't say Well, there's nothing to boost because I didn't say anything. Um, well, okay. let the tape okay. show. We'll, we'll put let the record on display. No, we don't need to, we don't need to <laughs> do anything. But honestly, if you want to, go for it. Um, so, no, yeah, he kills this unidentifiable time. victim and they can't identify her. I don't know why this is even in the article. It's not even interesting. Yeah, he killed <laughs> a sixth person. Big whoop. Um, R.I.P. So after his arrest, the murder vic- weapons were found hidden at his workplace. Uh, he was so the Swede was charged with two murders, um, and then uh, Doug was charged with six. And he, oh, I could see maybe why. Um, I could. I, okay, so we got. We have reached hard. that point. <laughs> we were yeah. So uh, much like. Uh, as I did in the Ace Attorney video game that I was playing, um, Doug was his own uh, defense counsel at the trial, and he blamed his sweetie for everything. Um, clearly, <laughs> he was he was being manipulated, and frankly, I'm almost inclined to believe him because <laughs> only a noble man is their own defense. How See, so that work for him? go ahead, go ahead, tell us. <laughs> well. Um, <laughs> She put the makeup. Well, see, she, she, I'm, my theory is that she got him into the threesome thing. And then that kind of broke his, his poor masculine brain that just couldn't handle 
you know, that kind of uh, deviance. And then he just kind of, you know, he, he wanted to keep getting that high and she introduced that to him and was the one bringing him all the sweeties. Um, so, you know, Jillian, to answer your question about how it went though, he is still on death row. Um, okay, cool. <laughs> I thought yeah, you were asking so not me well. my theory on why, uh, I, he blamed her and that worked. Yeah, no, he's on so, death row. Uh, my thing about like any couple serial killers, right. Is how does this come up in conversation? Right. You know, like what, what happens for you to one day just sit there, you look across at your sweetie and you go, I've always fantasized about killing someone during sex. Could you help me out with that? I think it starts with you casually saying, um, I'm a lot like Joker from the movie Joker. Well, hang on now. No, no, I, no, I don't, I don't think that's how this starts personally. I, I disagree with that. I, uh, say that and then your partner picks up on the vibes and brings home a sweetie. (laughs) So I can, uh, sort of have an anecdotal story about this actually, which, uh, uh, <laughs> I so, agree. That is pretty rough. Yeah, in uh, college, I like sort of—I wouldn't say dated. I would say I hung out with a couple times in a you know in a more than friend sort of way with a softcore pornography person, artist, um, worker, employee, because it's real work. Um, <laughs> and she at one point expressed. Not that she would, but it is something she has thought about of like killing somebody during sex. And I was like, okay. And then I ghosted her. <laughs> Good. That was and the I correct think, move. I, was... I think valid. Coach, given both of our track records, I was just expecting you to be like, and then we dated for three more years. Like, <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, she, she, luckily it was a long distance or a longer distance thing. So, like, it wasn't somebody was enough of a college. distance. So, I, yeah, which that didn't stop me from ghosting people at school too. And it's fine when I ghost people, not when I'm ghosted though, uh, because I'm very noble uh, and a poor, I'm just a poor little meow meow. I'm just a little guy, you know, and I'm very sad and, and pitiable. Very <laughs> but true. In a, but I, in a heroic way, sometimes. That's uh, that's sure. that's pretty much it, right, Matt? Yeah, that's that's really all there is to Doug Clark. Yeah. His sweetie died of a heart attack in prison a couple years back. Good R. heart R. attack. R.I.P. to that writer die. Yeah, R.I.P. to her. Got a poor it's one. hard to find, you know? It, it is. We'll never have another one like her. And that's I agree. Good. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Who's to say? I think it's no, good. It's, it's I'm, a good I'm thing fairly we're not confident have another in one saying one. it's a good thing. Yeah. But who's to say? Of course... <laughs> Of course, Jillian with her Joker hair is like, is yeah. it good or bad? I don't, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> Jillian, twisted. agent of I chaos. Think, I think any loss of life is a tragedy. So, well, you know, could sometimes be bad. you know, iron sharpens iron, and if you can't, <laughs> if you can't get sharpened and you and you break, then that's on God. So, you know? Iron sharpens iron is an interesting approach to serial murder. I have to say. Um, or heart attacks. Or heart attacks. If you weren't, if you got the heart attack and lived, you were strong enough to get the heart attack. If you weren't, then you're fucking weak, and you're not iron. You know. I, I see. Often, or your heart's you know that so that iron that had heart attacks often say, <laughs> where they're like, "Oh, I'm so glad that happened. What does it kill you? Makes you stronger." I was at a friend's house when his dad had a heart attack. And, that go? well we were just like you know i came over uh to his house How we were playing oh god it must have been like it was like fourth or fifth grade or something so like let's say like oh, dear god that's pretty young that's yeah. pretty young to witness a heart attack well i've witnessed a lot of shit in my life um and i'm fine and yeah mm-hmm. so it wasn't really that like alarming you know what i mean because like heart attacks aren't like they're not like as uh dramatic as you know tv and movies would make it seem but it's like we were playing playstation 2 games you know um actually no we're playing playstation 1 we're playing um zeno twisted metal no (laughs) sorry um and then we like we're having lunch i think we're all having soup with like you know him and his parents and then like during the soup thing, the dad was just having a lot of chest pain. 
And then they're like, yeah, I think you need to go home. And I was like, oh, okay. And then like, I had my dad pick me up and I like the whole time didn't really realize I was like, oh, I should have said like, my dad's a cardiologist and can help. <laughs> and yeah, just, probably. It just didn't, I just didn't even occur to me. Cause like also at the time I wasn't like, it was such like a subtle thing and they weren't like, oh, he's having a heart attack. Oh, last name was also heart, which is pretty funny. <laughs> That's how I'd put that. You know, like not ha ha funny, but like, you know, it's, it's, it's a little funny. Irony, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Little- like the Joker is. If that was written into a movie, they would tell you to rewrite it. Yeah, it'd be like, yeah, that's a little too on the nose, buddy. I'm like, no, but it, it's real. It happened. Because <laughs> uh, that's how I talk. Well, um, I think we're out of time for everybody else to do a Doug crime. <laughs> um, so I think the best compromise is we'll each read one line from the article that we have pulled up. Okay. <laughs> is, is, is this how we're doing this? Is this how we're doing this? I think this is the best plan for all of us. Okay, I have okay. a line. Okay, what, what is your one sentence? His lawyer said at the time he renounced his previous beliefs in the QAnon conspiracy theory and would w- abide by whatever terms the court set. No, we shouldn't. I want to hear more of QAnon <laughs> Doug. Well, was this the the Doug who is at the Capitol Hill? Is yeah, this, this is Capitol, right? Doug. This guy rules. I almost talked about him too. I was a big Doug. fan of this guy. Oh, was he a, a compatriot of uh, Via Getty? Hmm? Yeah. yeah, he's yeah. one of the uh, yeah, much yeah. like you, Coach. He's a true patriot. Um, I am a true. He did call himself a Via true Getty. believer and a digital soldier for QAnon. <laughs> <laughs> How great would it be to be a digital soldier? I should. I mean, hey, not that. He, I, he Didn't want to prison? put keyboard warrior in the Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> he was in prison for a bit and then told the judge, I actually think I was wrong about QAnon and they released him to which um, they said, I don't see any reason to believe why he's had the wake up call that he needs. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, in all fairness, if I was at the Capitol Hill, I would also probably be like, hmm, I might have been a bit carried away here. You know, when I watched like Ashley Babbitt's head explode, I'd be like, uh, I don't know about this anymore. Yeah. While out of jail, Jensen was prohibited from accessing the internet or using (laughs) internet-capable devices using cell phones, but in August, prosecutors said that a pretrial services officer caught Jensen in the garage streaming a program on a Wi-Fi-enabled iPhone. (laughs) Jensen first claimed that the phone was his daughter's, according to a brief prosecutor's... uh, filed on august 19th then he claimed that his wife left the news on for him when she left for work later he admitted he spent two days streaming a cyber symposium held by um pillow magnate and leading stop the steel ad yes michael lindell oh i love mike lindell so much dude he's one of my favorite people so that's that's uh doug jensen Imagine your brain is so bad, the government has to be like, you're not allowed to watch the news anymore. (laughs) God, I wish. Um, Yep, me too. Lord, I see what you do for others. Um, The government doesn't have to tell me to not watch the news. I just, uh, (laughs) I don't. I lack your willpower. Yeah. I uh, I mean, I don't watch televised news, so that's good. Um, I've chosen the criminal Douglas Garland. Um, and I have one sentence. Here's a quote. Um, he's not confrontational at all. If anything, he's sneaky. <laughs> I think that I love being described as sneaky. Yeah, I think that that speaks to me. That one, uh, since I know nothing else about Douglas Garland, I'm going to say I'm I'm just like him. Well, what, um, what, what, what was sneaky Doug's little crime? Yeah, what was he up to? Um, well. There was a, a patent dispute, a little petty patent dispute, as it's described. Um, and so he uh, kidnapped his uh, oh, son, okay, his son and his wife's parents, um, and killed them and burned their bodies in a barrel. Ooh, okay, um, I <laughs> how you still relate that? to him. How, how you Do- Douglas Garland has soured on me a little bit. I'm going to be real. I'm, uh, I'm not as big of a fan as I was he at kinda, first. He kind of escalated the whole work. Yeah, he, I don't... 
What was the patent patent, dispute over? Yeah. I mean, was he going to be making like serious coin or what? Because if he was it, then like, what was the fucking point? Yeah, was it worth it? Yeah, how funny. Just like a kind of like car air filter or something like that. (laughs) It's like nothing. What if he like invented the iPhone? It seems to be nothing. They they don't go into it, but it is, in quotes, petty grudge over a patent (laughs) dispute. All right. Yeah, fair enough. Sounds like he, he went a little far. Um, like he invented a board game that nobody bought. <laughs> Somebody was like, "You named it good. I'm going to take your name." And then he uh, murdered out. murdered his five year old son and his wife's parents. So, uh, I am the only one among us who has. Uh, oh shit! Uh, among us, among uh, us, uh, among us. Uh, I'm the only person here. Like <laughs> uh, well, will my soul no peace? I am the only person here who has chosen a Doug victim. Apparently, everybody else is talking about Doug criminals. I figured I'd change things up, uh, and I'm here to talk about Doug Benton. Uh, a he was a welder, exotic bird seller, and bodybuilder uh, in the eighties. Really hoping it would just be he was an exotic. He was an bird. exotic bird, and this guy a little renaissance you, man, master of fits. I'm just gonna send you guys one or two of his pictures. He's a great looking guy. Um, so oh, yeah. just to jump ahead, Doug he Clark, was, um, ugly motherfucker. Yeah. Doug Clark does <laughs> not look good. This guy's cool as hell. Oh yeah. Oh, Doug Benton, like he's awesome. Sick mullet, man. Like an 80s wrestler. Yeah. So his neighbors, uh, were not super concerned after he went missing for a couple days. They grew a little more concerned after his exotic birds were clearly uncared for. And they're like, well, this is not at all like Doug, a gentle man who cares for his birds. Um, and so uh, uh, an investigation like found Doug his Walker. yeah much like Doug Walker. Um, Do you think Doug Walker would ever be described as gent? Like, would you want to be no the, the recipient of <laughs> Doug Walker's gentle care? <laughs> Do you think? Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, so anyway, uh, a search <laughs> found Doug Benton's body. Uh, wrapped in 800 pounds of concrete in a pig trough somewhere. It's not entirely mm. clarified how there was that much concrete and they found his body. Is he um, okay? No, he was stabbed multiple times and killed uh. with a gunshot to the head. Um, the immediate so the suspect... the concrete was overkill, huh? Yeah, the concrete was slight overkill. The immediate suspect was Tracy Lee Fortson, uh, who was 35 years old at the time, a single mother, and the first woman to have become a deputy sheriff in the Oglethorpe County Sheriff's Department. Uh, A-cab, girl boss. baby. Yeah, A-cab. exactly. ACAB slash girl boss. We can all say that. Um, the two she, can't really call each other out. She's just a woman. And we yeah, she did. What that means. Yeah, they were, they were in a relationship at the time of the murder. Um, you know, people, people had conflicting views, uh, which is to say everybody said that they fought all the time and regularly she would threaten to kill him, except for her daughter, who said she was a good person and would never do that. So who's to say what happened here? Um, believe women. She was. I believe women. Uh, she was sentenced to life in prison. Um, yeah, especially after it was discovered that she purchased the trough and the concrete that his body was found in, which is not great, not great evidence. Uh, and my sentence that I will read is she ultimately got her conviction overturned in October of 2003 and the court ordered a retrial. In the 2004 retrial, Tracy was once again convicted and sent back to prison. <laughs> <laughs> uh she tried to get the conviction overturned again in 2017 and failed and is currently uh in prison in georgia serving a life sentence so i can say a cab white women are lying at all times um and doug benton great looking dude she's a real georgia peach (laughs) exactly yeah perfect uh grace (laughs) <laughs> all right so now that we've we've wrapped things up neatly and naturally um <laughs> bad boy crimes people where can we find you guys and then we'll address the doug zone plug zone um you can um, find us uh, on twitter um and the twitter twitter is and only twitter at bad boy crimes pod um and then we're on we, Patreon. 
Yeah, we are on Patreon. Oh yeah, you guys they have a real Patreon, not just Yeah, not our fake Patreon. They have a Patreon <laughs> the mythical exists. Doug Zone Patreon. Um I think the moment if we ever start a Patreon, we will never mention it on, on mic. You'll just have to yeah. learn about it through the grapevine. <laughs> You have to Google it yourself. Right I refuse there. to make money off this podcast. Yeah. Um, we also have a Discord, yep. although it's a similar similar crew to the, the Doug Zone Discord. So really, you join one or the other. It's pretty much the same experience. The there's, things, you know? you know, there's no one person in one Discord or the other <laughs> who might you know, no, definitely upset not upset you or not upset you. Um, <laughs> and, and that's fine. Um, yeah. Also, leave us reviews on if you if you liked us on this episode of the Doug Zone. Leave us reviews on iTunes, um, preferably good ones. But you know, I at this point, yeah. Whatever yeah, if you, you didn't want. like this episode, direct all your one star reviews to Bad Boy Crimes. All of you who liked it, give us a good review on the Doug Zone. Um, I think it's only fair. I think we can. Yeah. Everybody can get good reviews. I think we all can. <laughs> eh, I don't think so. I, you know, I'm a someone man, must I'm, pay. Someone, why am I the always in the middle? I'm always the righteous <laughs> hero trying to pull everybody together, and it's so hard. <laughs> I'd say come on the cast and defend yourself, but unfortunately, I don't need to be put on trial on another podcast. <laughs> Once a year is good enough for me. Yeah, it happened on your own podcast. Yep. Skillshy, where can the people find you? Um, don't find me. Finding me sucks. Don't <laughs> perceive my existence, but um, please stream okay. my music. I need I need the like third of a cent per <laughs> per listen. Um, that's that's very important to me. You do have a good December album. I quite enjoy it. Oh, this yeah. is the only time I'm allowed to plug it. Um, <laughs> it's way too time sensitive to be a smart marketing decision. <laughs> Yeah, and yes. we brand it as winter video game music. No, mm-hmm. I refuse. <laughs> okay, well, respectable. Okay. Uh, that Nick, can't believe you said that. <laughs> Wait, what did Nick say? <laughs> Nick described it as winter video game music. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that because that's what it sounds like. No, I, a lot of your music sounds like video game music in a very good way. Like I enjoy it. Oh, I I'm well aware. Way, not like a. Yeah, I'm like I could see myself playing a little like a low key rogue like uh, yeah. while this play. Just like a a cat platformer. Yeah, exactly. Oh. I'd love. I would love a. That would be a. I should a make a video game platformer. about Emmy. Uh, Running around somewhere. Yeah, and you call it poor little meow meow. Um, yeah. Let's see. What else have we got? Doug Zone, plug zone. Yeah, the Doug Zone's plug zone. Um, you can follow the cast on Twitter and Instagram, the same handle, which is at Doug Zone Cast. Very good. Um, Join our Discord. Join their Discord, like yeah. we said. Join both the Discords. Figure out which one I'm in. Just join one of the discords. It really doesn't matter. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, I think that's all we've got. We would also like good iTunes reviews. Please do that for us as well. Um, (laughs) You know where to find us. You're listening to this. We exist in the exact same circles. Um, And how awesome is my roommate? Um, I think Mike, that's roommate. (laughs) Um, where can we where can we find him i do not know aside from my address which i will you now just, read on my fucking left <laughs> yeah exactly um incredible yeah join the skeleton army Follow, subscribe to our patreon out? what how are we gonna do the outro here do you um, there's you got another bit for us. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, we will say "Hail Doug," and then instead of saying "Bazinga," Coach will shoot himself in the head on mic. Um, it's my right, time to shine. Uh, there will be no new episodes in the future of either podcast. I've just decided. <laughs> so this is it. has canceled the Doug Zone. Um, this, is, this is the magnum opus for both of us. Yeah. As the executive producer, you have this ability. Um, It's true. I brought everybody together. You truly did. Um, 
Yeah, let's see. Here's what we'll do. Um, I'm just going to say, Hail Doug, but not Doug Clark. Hail Doug Benton. Shout out, Doug. What the shout fuck? out to Doug. Doug dude. Shout out to all the Dougs of the world. Except except what? Shout out to all the not Douglases Doug. of the world. Doug. Doug. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Shout out to every Doug except for Doug Walker. Um, shout out to all the Douglases of the world. I hope you guys have better luck with your future copyright disputes. Um, just good times all around. Uh, Who's recording? How are we going to end this? I'm going to end this, but I, <laughs> was, I wanted to throw in the bit of... Um, somebody throw out a Hail Doug. Hail Doug. Hail Doug. Benton.